What's up, people of YouTube? Welcome back to a E3 video, but today is a little bit different. It's just like a little vlog, more so than a news video or opinion. Well, I guess it is opinion video. Anyway, this is just going to be about both the Nintendo Spotlight and their Treehouse Direct. Uh, not direct, but I know, you know, whatever you want to call it. It was basically, a, Spotlight was basically a direct. Just calling it something else. Anyway, doesn't matter. So, what's the point of this video? Read the title. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna not be that lazy. I'm gonna discuss some of my favorite games. Like, that were, not that, not that, like, a game like Yoshi was, sucks. I think it's gonna suck, necessarily. Or Kirby's it's gonna suck on the Switch. No, that's not it. It's more just, like, something to me, for me, that stood out more. So definitely Super Mario Odyssey. You got this open world. I, I don't know if I, I don't want to call it a true open world. I do want to call it true open world, but I don't know if that's what it is. So I'm not going to go ahead and say that just yet. But the game looks very good. It definitely has some open world in it. Maybe not like Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, or Breath of the Wild. But it definitely looks good. You can drive vehicles. Never done before outside of the core Super Mario titles, if I'm not mistaken. So not including Mario Kart, it has not been done before. Um, there, ha I mean, yeah, you ride roller coasters in Super Mario Sunshine, but that, that doesn't count. So you could ride a bike or a car, and it, eh, it's just kind of cool. And you could like turn into enemies, which almost reminds me of Kirby. I mean, you're not sucking it up, but whatever. The next one would probably be. Metroid Prime 4. Yes, I I can't say I love Metroid, but I, I You know what? Yeah, I, I in a way I do love Metroid. I am a kind of I'm, I don't know if I'm a fan of Metroid, but I remember playing it on the Game Boy Color it was a I think it was the second one. It was an NES port. Uh, I played a demo on the DS of Metroid, which was kind of cool, kind of not. It was sort of like the 3DS game of Federation Force, that's what it reminded me of anyway. I don't know why, but for some reason it did. Even though I never played Federation Force, probably never will. Don't really care about it. Uh, but yeah, Prime 4, even though there was really no footage other than the logo. Um, I don't even know that that's going to be the official logo. But hey, I'm excited for that game. I played the first one on the GameCube. I uh, got a couple of them on the Wii U. Uh, just, I believe they're just regular Wii games, but I got them on a discount, so I just downloaded them off the eShop. So it's like three games. It's like Other M, I don't remember. Um, but yeah. I have Super Metroid on the Wii and Wii U, I believe. Um, and that game was pretty good, actually. So as you can see, I, I have actually played Metroid before. I played a handful of the titles, but I'm not like a tr hardcore fan where I'm going to play everything from Metroid necessarily. No, I wouldn't mind playing Metroid Prime again or some of the other ones before this comes out. I think I'll have plenty of time. I could probably do it multiple times too for each game. But anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to that game. I will definitely pre-order. I, I can technically pre-order it now, but, you know, Super Mario Odyssey is going to come out in a few months. And I... I did uh, also pre-order Metroid Samus Returns on the 3DS, which I think is like a remake of some of the Metroid games. Um, yeah, so I, that also stood out to me. It looked like a really good uh, 2D side-scroller in the 3DS. I don't know if it plays in 3D. Interestingly to know, I'm going to look this up just to make sure. But uh, So you're going to hear some typing. But I believe um, Metroid... Samus Returns, uh, for some reason it's not Metroid 2 Samus Returns, but whatever. I believe it's made by, it's made outside of Japan, I think. Now, I don't want to trust Wikipedia with every single thing. However, um, oh, there was a Samus Returns. So let's say 3DS. I want to, oh, come on, I just want to see who made it. Okay, let's go back here. You are now dun, dun, ready, dun. ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. Maybe that's just why another fan remake of Metroid was shut down, because this is kind of like a remake. So, so who made it? I want to see who made it. Let's, okay. 
Sorry. I believe it's made in Spain, which was kind of interesting, but... Eh, that's alright. That's fine with me. But... I forget the company. Anyway, yeah, but the game, the game looks good. And I'm actually looking forward to getting it. I already pre-ordered it. I tried to get in the special edition. That was sold out, so I just got the regular edition. Um, I really don't care too much. You know, I'm not upset that I couldn't get it. It is what it is. I think it just came like a little thing that reminded me of Fidget um, Spinner. If that's what they call them, I think. Um, yeah, but the game looks good. I'm looking forward to it. And hopefully you guys are too. Anyway, I give up. But I think it was made in Spain. Let me know if I'm incorrect. I won't get mad, I, I promise. Um, yeah, so what what else? The new Pokemon game. No, I'm not talking about Poke, Pokemon Tournament DX. I almost said Pokemon Adventure DX today. For some reason, I was saying it's Sonic Adventure. Anyway, um... There's a new Pokemon, a main for RPG game coming to the Switch. We don't know when. It might be a couple of years, but at least a year. But they threw it out there just to make fans happy. And I think that's most of the stuff that kind of made me happy about it. Uh, yeah, I might get Ra I think I will get Mario Rabbids on the Switch. Eventually, I don't know if I'm going to get it at launch. It looks better than I thought it would, even though it's not something I'm like super hyped for, but it does look decent though. So, I don't know. But more into Mario Odyssey. And then the Metroid Samus Returns. The, for the games coming out this year, that's what we're looking forward to. And you might be thinking, like, why would you not be looking forward to sw a Switch game? Well, I'm looking forward to a uh, Monster Hunter Double Cross, but for now, that's not coming to the States. When it comes to Japan, if I hear good reviews, I might purchase the Japanese version and then play it on the Switch because it's region free. So it'd be cool. But there's going to be some language barriers. So, I mean, if it's. If there's going to be a part in the game where I'm going to have to know how to read something to continue, to continue then I may not get it. Um, but. I don't know. I'm still looking forward to that game. I never even played Monster Hunter. I never played Monster Hunter. I have played Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker on the PSP and PlayStation 3, and, and then I also got on the Vita. Anyway, uh, there was like a Monster Hunter spinoff in there, which is interesting. Hunting these dinosaurs, which I kept getting killed, but that's not the point. So that's as close as a Monster Hunter game that, came, that I can recall playing. But I might actually try playing the series though. And I think that's about it. Okay, I, I was. I wish there was more. No, it was a great conference. It's just I wanted to do like the top three things that stood out, or top two things, whatever. Um, yeah. So I want to know what you guys thought. What are some of your favorite games? And with that, without further ado, I'm gonna end this. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.